I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. And I want to ask, are you guys ready for civil war? Are you ready to put your, your life on the line to fight for or against an obese, illiterate, bankrupt, pillow-fisted daddy's boy? He was saying that China has total respect for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large a brain. <laughs> Me neither. The next civil war will not be being started because of this narcissistic fat man that's leading us, but because Dish TV took Fox Sports off its basic cable package. Americans won't fight for principle, but we sure as hell will destroy a mall to get a half-priced North Korean-made big screen on Black Friday. Sweet Potato Hitler tweeted out this last week, threatening civil war if he got taken out of office. Now, I know some Trump supporters, and they won't replace a screen door on their double wides. They'll just keep stepping through it year after year. Let alone put their lives on the line for a guy who wants to date his daughter. I've been alone with you inside my mind. So... How would a civil war go in 2019? Well, here are some letters from the future. We have them on the screen. <clears throat> Dear Taylor with an H, the civil war in California has raged for 30 minutes. The African Americans for Trump battalion was defeated in minutes after their lone member was accidentally shot by a 19 year old trying to selfie himself rapping to a Billy Irish dirge for his AGT audition. The supplies are plentiful as we've invaded a Costco and set up a, an impenetrable wall of old chicken baked sandwiches. The red hats from Bakersfield will never get us, but our DVR is broken and we cannot see the last three nights of our commander, Rachel Maddow. So we are flying blind. Pray for us. In Godspeed. Civil War 2019. Now, what I love the most is that the president is so full of himself that he actually thinks the country would start a bloody war not to stop slavery or to stop genocide or to fight an insurrection of a people that are trying to take our freedom. He thinks that we'll fight each other because the dude that couldn't sell water and vodka and couldn't make money from a casino, the guy that thought the Continental Armies were going to take the airports. Our army manned the airports. It ran the ramparts. It took over the airports. It did everything it had to do. He thinks we'd fight each other because he broke the law and he doesn't want to have to face it like the rest of us have to. He thinks that we would hurt our fellow countrymen over him, a mumbled mouth pumpkin spice douchebag. That's narcissism. To my fellow Americans, whether we agree on politics or not, at one point you're going to have to face the fact that this man is trying to split us. He's trying to divide us, make us hate each other, and it's working but I'm not going to do it. Do you ever wonder why he's doing it? Well, he's been doing business with Russia since 1987. He's had shady Russians pay him over $100 million in cash for his properties. You know why? Because our money needs to be laundered, Donald, because get on that. And then you can go back to tweeting misspellings and horrible punctuation. He tried to lift sanctions after it was proved that Russia hacked our election. He tried to lift sanctions put on Russia after it invaded and took Crimea. In an act of war. I mean, imagine, people, if Japan just took Hawaii. If our president isn't a Russian agent, <laughs> he's obviously auditioning. So, President Comb over. We may not agree with each other here in America, but we are Americans first, and there is not going to be any civil war <laughs> because you say so. To have this country split in two and have brother fight brother, you're going to have to bring the big guns in. Yeah, let Harvey Weinstein do the Super Bowl halftime show with Bill Cosby while vaccinating babies. Then we'll have something to fight about. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, people. You're going to get this every week, whether you like it or not.